How was Cash Cab? Cash Cab. That was great. That was that was a great show to do. It's one um is also the hardest show I think was I it? had to do. Yeah, because they I booked that show two years before they made it. They they said, look, Ollie, we've got a show coming, but you're the only one that can do it. I'm like, oh, that's a very nice compliment. But I the thing is that I spent a month driving a cab around Singapore. Um, Singapore's okay for driving. Like drivers can be a bit crazy, but you just follow the speed limit and you know things like that. But you're doing so many things at the same time. So I've got like I see I've got something in my ear here, right? It's I had something in my ear which was communicating with the director who is in a chase vehicle that's following us, right? So I've got someone talking in my ear. I'm driving the vehicle. I'm following the GPS. I'm keeping track of how much money they've earned on this machine here. I'm controlling the LED lights with my right hand. Whenever they get a right answer or a wrong answer oh, and stuff, wow. it goes bing, tick, all that sort of stuff. And at the same time, I'm also asking these people questions and the questions are being fed into my ear as well. Ah. So as someone's speaking, I'm speaking in a two second delay to what they're saying to the people that are behind me. Then on top of all that, I have to host a TV show and make it entertaining. So you're doing just all of these things. You're just like juggling seven seven balls at the same time. But, you know, I got very good at just being able to, okay, my, my mouth would just sort of repeat what I was hearing in my ear as far as the questions. Mm -hmm. I was keeping track of the time. And it became quite a challenge because every time that someone got into the cab, it's a surprise, right? And you just don't know how people are going to react. And some people are so outgoing, it makes it so easy. But then I remember having other passengers who are really quiet, like they don't say anything. <laughs> But that was kind of the challenge. So still finding ways to make it entertaining. So like this person wasn't talking. I was just throwing all these looks to camera. It ended up being a really <laughs> funny bit in the end. But right. it's like it's surprising how, you know, some people could be completely quiet and it ended up being great TV just as much as the really outgoing and fun people were.